Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make Thai bow ribic sauce. I will make this sauce in the size small, but you can find the free written part for on size from extra small to 5 extra large on my blog at the description below. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let's get started. To make it, you will need DK current yarn 3.5 and 4.5 mm crochet hook, scissors, dolly needle, and stick markers. The sauce are made from two panels. We will start from the first inseam panel with the 4.5 mm crochet hook. Make a fluorescent chain with 70 chains. The first row is also the right side of the panel. With the 3.5 mm crochet hook, we will need to chain one with the loose tension single crochet into the back palm of the second chain from the hook. Single crochet into the back palm of each chain until the end of the row. We still have a 17 stitches in total. Row 2 is the wrong side of the panel. We are going to chain one, turn your work, back loop slip into the first stitch. Back loop slip into each stitch until one stitch left. Slip stitch into the last stitch. We still have a 17 stitches in total. To make row 3, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop, half loop crochet into the first stitch. Back loop, half loop crochet into each stitch until one stitch left. Half the crochet into the last stitch. To make row 4, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop slip stitch into the first stitch. Back loop slip stitch into each stitch until one stitch left. List into the last step. To make row 5, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop single crochet into the first step. Back loop single crochet into each step until one step left. Single crochet into the last stitch. Repeat from row 2 to row 5 until row 9. Now we will continue to make the main panel with the 4.5mm crochet hook. Make a fluorescent chain with 68 chains.
with the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook make the first row by chain one slip it into the back palm of the second chain from the hook slip it into the back palm of each chain until the last chain Back loop slips into each stitch until one stitch left. Slips into the last stitch. We should have 85 stitches in total. Repeat until row 94. Place the step marker at the 17th step from the beginning of the row. To make row 95, chain 1, turn your work with the normal tension, back loop slips into the first stitch, back loop slips into each stitch until one stitch left from the stitch marker. With a loose tension, back loop slips into each stitch until one stitch left. Slips into the last stitch. Now we will continue to make the second inseam panel. To make the first row, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop single crochet into the first stitch. Back loop single crochet into each stitch until one stitch left from the stitch marker. Remove the slip marker, single crochet into the last stitch. We still have a 17 stitches in total. To make the second row, chain 1, turn your work, back loop slips into the first stitch. Back loop slips into each stitch until one stitch left. Slip it into the last stitch. Repeat until row nine. Fast enough. Leave the yarn to sew the first and the second inseam together. Now we will make the bell loops. You may need to make a total of 6 bell loops with the 4.5mm crochet hook. Make a 47 chain with 3 chains with the 3.5mm crochet hook. Make the first row by chain 1 single crochet into the back palm of the second chain from the hook. 
single crochet into the back palm of each chain until the end of the row. We still have uh, 3 stitches in total. To make the second row, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet into the first stitch. Single crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. Repeat row 2 until row 11. Fast enough. Now we will make the belt with the 4.5mm crochet hook. Make a 40 cent chain with 282 chains with 3.5mm crochet hook. Make the first row by chain 1 single crochet into the back palm of the second chain from the hook. Single crochet into the back palm of each chain until the end of the row. We still have uh, 282 stitches in total. To make the second row, chain 1, turn your work, single crochet into the first stitch. Single crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. Repeat row 2 until row 9. Fast enough. For it, source panel in the half length waist with the ground side facing towards you and sew the inseam sides together. Thread a new yarn through the diameter and with the, the size of the two saucepanners together from the front to the back. Turn the right side out. With the tail left earlier, sew the bell loops into the sauce.
I haven't finished making the turbo ribby sauce. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye.